I've always had an interest in building and working with my hands from the Kinex building system to Legos from the time I was little up until now. They give you a set of instructions that you're supposed to follow, but then it's not like it's something that's static. You can always then take those parts and you can combine them with other things. You can build your own sets. In high school, there was the option to take different levels of drafting. Mechanical drafting is intriguing to me because you create a part on a piece of paper and from that piece of paper you then go and they manufacture that part and you're now actually able to hold in your hand. At the college I went to, the focus was very intense, very structured and it gives you that eye-opening experience of this is what I want to do. I ended up graduating on a Saturday and starting on the following Monday. My degree in computer-aided drafting technology allows me to work directly with an engineer or a designer to create parts from that, the different operators and machinists will create their programs for actually manufacturing that part that help in the production of glass products that you use every day from bottles to car windshields. And we have resources and facilities in England and China and Mexico. And at any given time, I can communicate with England instantaneously. You're exchanging ideas and you're exchanging that, that give and take. And that's, that's a big deal I mean, to me. That's something that's very cool. On the weekends, I like to go out and ride my bike around or go to the target range and shoot clay birds and be outside. And with my two years schooling that I had, I wound up without any debt when I graduated. Because of that, I was much more fortunate than say some of my friends that are going to the typical four-year school that are gonna be graduating with you know, $40,000, $50,000 or more in debt. And to me, I find myself in much more of a financially sound position than they do and that's huge for anyone, especially nowadays.